Hey, um, Carl Erickson from Tier 1 Group, training camp out in Memphis. We train America's finest, um, military soft, international units, a whole conglomerate. I just retired from 26 years in soft, always running guns overseas, 10 deployments from the time the towers fell. Um, on my guns, whether I was running an SR-25 or an M4, didn't matter what it is, I would always have my uh, IR capability, the IR floodlight, IR laser so that I could mark targets. Um, later on, getting ready to retirement, we started adding the visible laser, which is good, marking targets. Um, I can't get hold of it now. What is Armor, uh, what's Armor Sight got in, these, in this Actually, realm here? What Armor Sight has in the way of tactical lasers is pretty expansive, but what I'd like to focus on today is our, our high-end unit, being as you're a, you know, an established operator. Uh, what we have is what our answer to the A&P Q15, A&P Q16, which is called the, the teaming, which is a tactical modular aiming and uh, illumination module. Okay, and what it does is it has a visible and IR aiming laser that are co-witnessed and bore sighted from the rear of the unit uh, using an integrated tool bullet cartridge or screwdriver okay. or Leatherman tool. In addition to that, you have a focusable IR, uh, IR illuminator that uh, has a power range of anywhere from 100 microwatts out to uh, about 30 milliwatts. So you have the ability to dial in using these power buttons. I can actually adjust, adjust your where the old units, it was either low or high. You're exactly uh. right. So we've tried to compensate for that because there are some users who want to operate in a very confined space where the low power was still too bright and create a lot of splashback into the goggles. So what we've done is we've allowed the user to uh, individually adjust or incrementally adjust the output the uh, output power of both the aiming laser and, that is important. and the visible laser. You get into some small rooms and it does, it, it washes off the walls and instead of a guy having to turn it off, now I could just leave it on but with a lower setting. Lower, lower power That's setting. Awesome. In addition to that, it has a selector mode on it that's a single push button to change your uh, beam uh, uh, exposure from constant wave to pulse, 4 hertz pulse mode so that you can try to differentiate or you can use it for signaling purposes. Yeah, and, uh, a lot of people don't think that's important. Um, or it's just a gimmick having a pulse, but it really does make a difference. When you've got four guys come into the room and you've got four solid lasers, by even just one guy being on pulse, that's, he knows exactly which one is his. And that's a great feature to have, great feature to have. But not being a, a, an, an operator, you don't know how many times I've been shooting somebody else's laser thinking that that was mine. <laughs> So what it, what it boils down to is that this thing uh, requires only the, uh, the operator to decide what mode he wants to emit. From there on, he can adjust his powers, he can adjust his pulse, and he can adjust his boresight independently. In addition to that, this thing, run, by the way, this thing runs off of a single 123 battery, okay? In addition to that, we incorporated a small rail on the side, just so that you could put your tactical uh, tactical flashlight on there as well. Now we're kind of approximating the AMP Q16 look, you know, having the tactical flashlight with the multispectral laser. Where this comes in real handy is that we've come up with a, a combination of, of uh, safety and full purpose remotes. So when you have the black remote integrated or connected to the system, up, up, mounted up on the side of the gun, on, mounted on the side of the weapon, then you have access to the full features of the device. Okay, so you can go maximum power, which is class 3BI safe levels. Okay, so it's pretty powerful. When you in, install the blue remote, which is the training remote or the force on force training remote, then it limits it to class one eye safe mode. Which so. now makes it safe for doing all your simulations training, working with the role players. And, and especially if you're, again, working in a, in a confined space or relatively close quarters, again, having the access to the low power is where you really want to be. So you don't really need to worry about the high power. When this is installed, just to, as, a, as an additional safety, when this is installed, there's an indicator on on every time you activate the laser that lets you know that it is in safe mode, it is not in full power access mode. In addition to that, if somebody tries to bypass it by pulling the safe remote off and hitting the fire button, which is the integrated fire button, it'll remain in safe mode until such time as you reintroduce the full access power mode. So that's better play it safe than sorry. Better play it safe than sorry. 
So this is where we stand on our high-end laser uh, laser products. You said it was IR and visible. Right, and the visible can be, you can, at the factory level, you can make a decision whether you want green or red visible lasers. So. And they're, they're already culminated, you don't have to align. And so a single bore sight with the, with the visible laser automatically co uh, automatically pour sights the, the near infrared. And that makes it a lot easier for the operators that they don't have to go find a separate The night vision, that's right, exactly. And I love having a visible laser, even though we would want to stay blacked out just using IR, when you have that non-combatant come walking down the street, switch, switch to red or green, make a little circle on the ground in front of him, you get his attention and all of a sudden he realizes he's walking somewhere where he shouldn't be. Exactly. I didn't have to fire any warning shots. Great capability to have. That's exactly. really awesome. In fact, this is, a, this is one of our new products and, and I'm really an advocate of it. I think it's really well designed and I, I love it. And it's light and it's, it, I can tell by looking at it, this thing's bomb proof. It's, it's built very sturdy. Waterproof to 20 meters, uh, 50 caliber recoil uh, uh, survivable. Man, it looks like you got a winner there, Alan. All right. All right hey, uh, bring them down to tier one group. We'll get them mounted on some guns. We'll run them through paces. We sure will. Looking forward to having All you right, down. Thank man. you again. Thanks.